we got four layers on this girl this morning. But we're talking all about the Avenue of Lights display. It's been around for 15 years, if you can believe it. And this year, bigger than ever. This is John Groves, one of the volunteers with the Avenue of Lights. Tell me about the uh, display we're seeing behind us. That is uh, our dinosaur cl dinosaur collection. We also have a volcano uh, going on back there in, in the uh, uh, far uh, background. Uh, Every Christmas park needs to have dinosaurs, don't you, don't you think? I mean, it, it's, I love they're, it. They're colorful, they're color, colorful. Gee, I'm getting cold. My mouth doesn't work. <laughs> uh, and the uh, palm trees, uh, as they get a little bit warmer, they they will start uh, showing some movement. It's course, just so it, amazing. In the background is are uh, some swinging monkeys, and uh, it just it just something that, that draws kids. Well, uh, one thing we want to talk about, you know, this is an all year venture. You're constantly coming up with new ideas. We are uh, trying to, to uh, look at things. Uh, how can we translate a picture that we see into a, uh, a Christmas display? Also, uh, in the field of electronics, uh, particularly LED lighting, fabulous things are, are uh, happening. And as we see uh, uh, new ideas presented, we, we try to acquire them, and, and if we can afford it, and, and put it into the park. Now, how many volunteers does it take in order to get this all together? Uh, right now, we're working just with with uh, three hands-on volunteers and quite honestly if anyone would like to volunteer time uh, learn more about the project uh, we will accept uh, help from from virtually anybody uh, whether it's whether it's uh, just setting displays up wiring uh, welding painting uh, any number of, of areas but we need help Quincy we need help very good. Well, we want to keep this going in the city of Quincy for years to come as well. Well, coming up on KH Gray this morning, we're going to talk to you a little bit about these displays and how they're created. You'll never guess part of it comes down to what your children might have in their bookshelf.